Good morning, everybody. I am very much pleased to be together with you in such an important meeting for Azerbaijan as well as for the region, and if I may say, for the international water community at all. Uh, the area of Caucasus is not the only one that shares the problems of water management, transboundary issues, and similar problems. So I am almost sure that today we are going to share experience, ideas, possible measures, and visions for the future improved water management. Uh, on the other side, I would like to thank to the Institute for Geography of the Academy of Science of Azerbaijan, on also to thanks to the Baku Dovlat University and uh, Azerbaijan University of Architecture and Civil Engineering since we've been uh, supported by joint stock company Azersu for the last three years in improving our relationships, meetings, and visions concerning modern uh, water resources management. Last but not the least, I think that our company, our society of water professionals, politicians, and all of the people and wider audience who are interested in water and environmental issues should be even more uh, developed, should be even more uh, encouraged to cope and to deal with these problems. I'll give a couple of insights into the strategic approaches to be considered in the area of Azerbaijan and the Caucasus concerning the integrated water resources management at the river basins. Since I am from the Danubian Association of International Hydrological Committees, UNESCO Association, which was established informal 60 years ago. So it is one of the oldest international association in this regard. Those days also was formed the International Commission for Navigation and Floods. And for 60 years, we've been having lots of problems, lots of fights, lots of discussions, and some good solutions. So uh, people from the Danube region and Danube Basin are ready to share the experience. And next October in Belgrade, in Serbia, at the confluence of the two rivers, Sava and Danube, will be uh, one new conference in this regard, encompassing environmental issues, navigation, floods, and droughts. So all of you could be, could be at that meeting if you prepare yourself, and most of you will be invited. So uh, the integrated water resources management at the river basins must include neighboring transboundary activities, spatial planning, legal issues and commissions, and participation, participation of all of the interested parties and stakeholders. But to our experience, one of the cornerstone or the basis should be networking of universities, faculties, and institutes together with the state agencies. Uh, an overall opinion is that educational institutions are separated from the society in total. From water management, they could help, but this is not a need and necessity. Our experience is that education, joint research, joint projects are the reliable and sound basis for such an improvement. Strategy of water have the following levels at least. The river or lake or sea basin level, the regional level, the state basin level, sub-basins levels, and numerous local levels. Some of those will be shown within the border of the state of Azerbaijan, and also numerous industry and or stakeholders levels. All of those must be in compliance with the strategy of a state. 
none of the stakeholder, none of the local authority or sub-basin could be developed without compliance with the general strategy at the river, lake or sea basin level and the state basin level. If I may say, since I also used to be a part of the socialistic world, we are, we were, we were, sorry, we were accustomed to making each and every city plans, each and every local authority plans. So those were not in compliance usually. And before we spare times and waste our money and time and, and human resources to make all of those in compliance, the first step should be establishing a strategy of water and environmental management on a state level. And then in local societies, in local communities, certain sub-strategies or smaller strategies should be, should be prepared and further implemented. If we pay attention to the Kura Aras water basin system at the Caucasus, we can see that it is shared among several countries, among different cultures, among different areas, actually from Black Sea almost to the Caspian Sea, there are several, several uh, kind of major problems in regard to climate and water management. So it is obviously very much difficult to find a one unique strategy, but this is the goal above all. It should be aiming at to prepare one strategy for the whole, whole river basin together with, together with, 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 uh, with, with neighbors. So this is one example, this is a, a schematic view of the integrated river Danube basin management scheme, which was discussed for more than 30 years in the area of the Danube basin. So several levels could be seen, international, global, regional, national, and local levels. So all of the levels are based on some documents. Documents must be in compliance with general documents at the basin level. Uh, in this part of the world, uh, European framework directives are one of those, and numerous other directives are also the basis for management of water and environment in the area. Based on those documents, national documents were published. So national documents must be in compliance with the international documents. Then we go to uh, national level and then to local level. Local communities put their documents in power together with national and international documents. This is the only way that all of the activities, all of the plans from spatial to the local ones could be promising, could be effective, and could be improving, aimed at improving water usage, water protection, and protection from water in, in cases of water security, both sides, droughts and floods. So this is one of example that could be, could be analyzed in details in each and every watershed or basin for implementation in next steps. Water and environment management should be based at the following domains or fields. Institutional strengthening, capacity building, human professional capacity improvement, educational capacity and financial sustainability. Why I put the financial sustainability at last? Because if you are not educated and if you don't have educated people, there is no money that can cope with these problems. If you don't have institutional basis and capacity building in the country and on the river or sea or lake uh, basin, there is no money and there is no education that can help you. So the priorities should be in certain way similar to this or maybe some improvement of this scheme could be, could be in the game. Uh, this is additional uh, program that could be followed 
up or that could be used for introduction of international activities. It is the phases eight of the International Hydrologic Program UNESCO, started last year and will be uh, uh, till 2021. So there are six topics that could be interesting for people and the countries and states who are interested in coping with, with and such a problems. I think that uh, representatives of the IHP UNESCO or from the area, particularly from Azerbaijan, are active in this area and maybe they can make a network of the IHP national committees for the region in order to skip or some of the problems or decrease some of the tensions in the area by mutual visits, discussion, education and, and research. This is the Kura Aras water basin system, including the Caspian Sea. According to uh, traditional ways of research and design, we've been uh, dividing uh, some sub-systems, committees, etc., etc., in many countries into inland waters and sea or, or, uh, or lakes, uh, or uh, upstream, downstream, etc., etc. Uh, modern experience is that all of those are tightly connected and shouldn't be divided. So it is an uh, even, even more difficult task, but it is more promising. This is to repeat for the sake of, of better understanding that possible levels have to be defined clearly, but in connection with each other. It is very difficult in, in, uh, in countries with tradition of water problems or water management to change some uh, institutional schemes to uh, recruit a lot of people and to be patient because none of the problem with water can be solved in overnight. It takes years. It takes years for discussion, negotiation, preparation of plans, but in addition to that, many, many more time is needed for sound and reliable solution in the field. This is something which is very much difficult to be, to be even exposed to some people in power. But people who are really in power, they are not afraid of learning a little bit from some professionals, they are not afraid of not knowing something but ready to learn. And this is actually the way that we can uh, uh, admire even to people in power who are ready to learn a little bit more. This is not so strong, so difficult task. This is not that much demanding task for people in power to learn a little bit more to communicate with professionals, water and environmental professionals. So if I may kindly ask my colleagues from the professorship, from the universities, research institutes and the other, to put a little more effort in their activities to push, to kindly ask or to uh, talk to people in power to learn a little bit more about water management. Water management, let me repeat, demands time. Without time, no sound and reliable water solutions can be, can be effective. Last but not the least, and to my experience, my personal experience, we think that strategy of water must be and must encompass all of the small rivers, small societies, small settlements, and so-called small people in the field. If you don't take people in the field for the strategy, for the general strategy of uh, water in the state, then it will be only for politicians, for professors, for uh, domestic or national and foreign consultants, but not for the people. And this is one poor side of modern strategies of water, even at the Nubian countries level. We found that 
directives, which were for more than 20 years, 25 years, some of those in the field, haven't reached the people in the field. So this is my, my uh, concluding remark, that strategy of water from transboundary level with neighbors, with those who are sometime in, in, uh, in a way, uh, let's say, uh, fighters for the same water, who are sharing water, who are sharing the quality of water, etc., etc., must be in the game together with local people, together with each and every uh, people in village, people along the roads, along the railways, and this is the only way that, that it, is, it could be a promising, a promising strategy. This was my little experience in the area based on the, on the experience gained in, in the Danubian countries uh, level and also uh, with some discussion and projects worldwide. I hope that this would be a helpful tool for the, for the next communication. Thank you very much.